Okay, today it is uh, Sunday, the 25th of March, uh, 2018. It's almost 11 p.m. in one hour. It will be my, I, I think, my 77th birthday. That's in one hour. I uh, just had somebody contact me and say, um, what happened to your reviews on Amazon? And I said, uh, well, nothing, you know, they're there. And they said, go check. And I went and checked on my profile. I'm not even sure I remember how to get to that, my reviews. Here it is, maybe, yeah. I wonder if I can drag the, uh, is this, let's see, this, I wasn't expecting to go, summary of this month, total items shipped seven. Uh, Well, this is not the link. Um, links, product linking, Amazon promotion tools, link your account, reports. Well, I don't even know where the link is now. I found it a few minutes ago. Um, I went to my, when I find the link, I'll put it below. I went to the place that, and there's 24 people that have, had in the past have signed up to see when I review something. And uh, anyway, I went there. There's, it tells me that there's my little information there that, and that i posted about myself and then there's a thing that says 24 people have subscribed and there's my little picture and there are no reviews there I forget how many reviews I've done Must there's hundreds and hundreds of reviews and every one of them had a video with it I God I don't know how much work that was a lot and they're all gone. They're they're not listed there. So then I thought, well. So then I went to something that I actually reviewed on Amazon recently, a knife and uh, a kitchen knife, very sharp. And I know I did a review on that, and so I went and uh, no review of mine. Another way I could tell is I went to uh, things I had bought. So I went there and I clicked on that. Then it showed it. And then it says, do you want to review it? And I clicked yes. If I had reviewed it, I, it would have taken me to a place where I could, you know, revise the review that I had done. I went there and... It was uh, blank, ready for me to uh, do a review. So I don't know if Amazon didn't like my reviews, if they thought I was too, uh, gave too good a reviews, because I didn't try to review something that I, when I purchased something, if it was not good. Uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't try to review it. In the past, when people could ask you to review their products and when they could send it to you for free, uh, when they did when they did that, if they sent me a... First of all, I wouldn't have them send me something that I knew I couldn't hopefully give them a good review on, you know, good review on. And But if they did send something and then there was something wrong with it, I would uh, contact them and I'd say, you know, hey... I know you don't want anything except, you know, five-star rating. I can't give it a five-star rating. And uh, so do you just want me not to review it? They would always say, yes, don't review it. Because every one of the people that I think I was dealing with were young, 
people in China, maybe they had another job and this was something they were selling products on the side, been convinced by a company there in China that they could make a ton of money or whatever. And they, in their mind, were convinced that if, if uh, incorrectly, that if a product was reviewed and didn't get five stars, that nobody was going to buy it. So I just wouldn't, um, you know, I'd say, okay, well, I just won't, you know, won't put a review there. Uh, had some people, and I didn't hide that fact. I uh, had some people tell me that I was doing something wrong, and that was incorrect, and and I I think they're wrong. I think uh, that uh, if I had given it a false review, but not doing a review, it was not giving it a you know, it's not giving it a positive review, it's not giving it a negative review. But some people disagreed with me. I don't know if that had something to do with this uh, or not. Uh, actually, I'm relieved because I got into the way I started doing. Well, I did some reviews, a few reviews, uh, just because I thought, hey, this is a great product and people should know about it. One was my doctor recommended that I wear compression socks or whatever to force the uh, what little blood is going to my ex lower extremities to f f with these and uh, so I purchased some from Amazon and then I did a review and I, I put in there you know that my doctor had recommended them and these were they were great and that company contacted me and said thank you so much for the review uh, tell us what size you are and we're going to send you uh, some free you know some more free and uh, then I started doing more, you know, more reviews. And then at some point, people started contacting me and saying, hey, would you do, you know, reviews for us? But now that if apparently Amazon, unless, I don't know, maybe they're having some type of trouble with their, I don't think so, some type of trouble with their uh, system. Um, I'm just not going to do any more, well, any more reviews. Well, I might... Well, I say that, but no, I, I was just doing too many. Re I thought I had to review everything, you know. So um, I just won't do any more. No, I take that back. There again, I'll just do like I started out doing. If I get a product that's really, really great, I'll probably do a review, you know, probably do a review on it. But uh, this, I did hundreds of reviews. Uh, took a lot of time in making the video. I included a video, I think, with 99.9% .9 of the reviews that I did. Probably not with the socks. I don't want anybody to see how grossly deformed my feet are from not getting any blood. But, uh, so, anyway, it's a, it's a, I don't know what happened. If you do reviews, maybe you better go check and see if if, if they're still there. Um, maybe they've just had some type of software or hardware problem, and maybe these will, maybe these my reviews will come back. I kind of doubt it. I think that uh, somehow they didn't like the review. Amazon didn't like the reviews or got complaints or something. And uh, they never sent me any, I would have, you know, well, that I, I get hundreds of emails a day. And uh, maybe I just missed it. You know, maybe I saw Amazon and I thought they were trying to sell me something or something. I don't know. I just, uh, not sure what it is, but it's a load off my mind. Uh, not to have to think that I because I got kind of locked into it, doing reviews, and then I just, every time I got something, just about, it would be, oh, okay, well, I need to review this. So now, thanks to Amazon, that's over. I have a bunch of things I would like to do. And uh, one is study for my general class amateur radio operator's license. I have a technician's class license, but I'd like to get a general class, and I have the material, and I'm even paid a fee to 
a site where I can go and take the sample test and uh, see how I'm doing. And in fact, I've been paying every year to renew that, and I never go there. Uh, so because I've been so busy doing other things. But there's a ton of stuff I'd like to do, and Amazon has just made it a lot, lot easier for me. So uh, this video is being made. I hope it's okay because this video is being made. I just installed the other day. If you watched yesterday's video, what you know that I just installed Linux. Uh, Mint on this computer. I formatted the hard drive, one terabyte hard drive, and put uh, put it on. And I like it. I've tried for over the years, uh, all of them, just every uh, distribution of Linux, just about multiple times. And uh, I really like this one. And uh, tomorrow I'm getting a DVD for one that I have used in the past, and I, I paid for the DVD. I paid, I've, in the past, I paid the uh, Zorin for the, even though I could download a free uh, version, I've paid, you know, in order to help them out. Uh, the one that I'm getting tomorrow on the mail, I didn't actually, isn't actually going to Zorin. I actually just ordered from eBay. But, I'm going to give it a try and as a dual boot because I like Mint. But the uh, Zorin, is it called Studio or I can't remember? Uh, that version of uh, Zorin is designed for people who create things, who write, uh, who, you know, work on images or movies or uh, stuff like that. And it has when you install it, all the programs that they think that you will need already installed. So I'm going to uh, put it on here as a dual boot tomorrow and see how it works. I had an older version that I tried and it actually messed up. And so I don't know if it's... Uh, we'll find out tomorrow. I hope it doesn't mess up the... Uh, install that I've got here. If it does, I'll just start over again. Uh, uh, tomorrow I'm going on a road trip and I will try to... Um, tomorrow's my birthday and my one of my daughters is taking me to a casino to gamble. So I'll... Uh, Try to make a road trip video. Okay, that's it. I am going to check this. Like I said, this, when I'm using Cheese, using Linux for this and using Cheese. It worked yesterday, so it should work today, but I hope it's... Uh, seemed like yesterday the uh, audio was a little out of sync. I did some stuff today, so I hope I didn't mess something up and just waste uh, 13 minutes of my time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.